Hello and welcome to another It's a Narrowboat Life. Now I just wanted to explain about this episode. Um, while currently editing it, it's the Six Nations uh, competition going on, um, but the videos are still effectively July, August of 2017. Now, during this period we have been up to Stratford-upon-Avon and in the last episode are returning north up the, uh, the Stratford Canal. Now, bearing in mind, I videoed some of that going up, which you've seen. Nearly all of the other material had been recorded coming down, so going through um, Warwick and Leamington Spa, uh, I cut that out. I was joined by um, my good friend Marco and his wife Heather, who uh, had just got their own boat, and they joined us at the Hatton Flight, and we've got some video footage of us going down the Hatton Flight. But after that, pretty much, it was a trip up to Rugby. Now, at Rugby, I met a lot of the other boat tubers, and they've already shown their videos of that. That's how far, effectively, I've been behind. But effectively, only because of a number of other non-boating-related events has it really prevented me from getting on and doing the editing as, as I am doing now. So, that's just to explain the situation. So, this episode is a little bit bitty. I do apologise for it. Um, it will jump uh, right up to uh, the part where we get to Rugby, um, heading back to Braunston, and then from Braunston, we're going to go and join the Oxford Canal. And that's where the journey will continue. We're going to go through Banbury, Oxford, and eventually onto the River Thames. So I just want to explain that situation. Uh, as for 2018, well, while Mandy and I are still enjoying our winter sun here in Spain, uh, when we get back, we're looking to um, start making our plans for going back up the Grand Union, but onto the Shropshire Union Canal, up to Chester, and onto the Langothlan. Uh, and possibly visit the Black Country Museum as well. So that's all to come for, for this year. But I hope you enjoy this episode. Apologise for the bittiness of it, um, but this is um, narrow boat life, I guess. Uh, it can be a bit bitty. Uh, but enjoy the rest of this, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. And so the journey back up the South Stratford Canal began. And I, I thought I'd have a look at some of the smaller aqueducts. There were three aqueducts along the Stratford Canal, and this is probably one of the smallest. Uh, yeah, someone leaving some nice a dog poo bag on the nice pretty gate there. But that's about just a 30-foot little aqueduct uh, over there. And then here's a, a few pictures of some of the beautiful lockkeepers' cottages that have been restored uh, along the way. Now, the numbers descend as you return back up the, the flight, so um, from 35 to 28 and etc. going forward. Um, and here is just a little montage of pictures that I took uh, on the re return journey as we um, get back through Warwick, uh, Leamington Spa, and then eventually um, go and meet my good friends Marco and Heather at the Hatton flight. Doubled up, halfway down the Hatton flight. Just stopped for a little um, sandwich. And Marco is in charge. Watch out! Woohoo! And as we were coming down the flight, there was a, a drone flyer, Boris Schwarzer. Thank you, Boris, for this kind footage of both of us going through one of the locks and um, sped up and some overhead drone footage. So uh, courtesy of Boris Schwarzer, thank you very much. Here is the uh, a little bit of a, a lock descend in the Hatton flight.
problem solved thank you to the people at the Apple store here in Solihull come off the beaten track a little bit just to come and find an Apple store um, that's another story uh, anyway we are um, pleased with the result uh, and I've just found this lovely little touchwood shopping centre never been to Solihull before uh, for my German friends it's on the outskirts of Birmingham um, it's very nice I'm gonna come here again So here we are at Long Itchington and I've stopped just outside the two boats. Uh, we've come from Warwick and Leamington Spa. Um, Rob was supposed to be joining me but bless him he's not been very well so I'm on my own and waiting for Mandy to take me down the Stockton flight. So let's take a walk along the road and uh, there's the sign for the two boats where they have freshly prepared food. I've just had a nice little pie which I'm sure you will see and uh, take a, a wander along so there's good old uh, Destiny moored very close to the pub and uh, we're in the direction of uh, the Stockton flight where we're going to be climbing back up but uh, very nice the two boats and uh, I quite enjoyed my uh, my pie there anyway walking along actually coming out out of Long Itching it, Long Itchington and we're at Long Itchington bottom lock so obviously everybody laughs about the fact that this is uh, you've got an itching itchy bottom down here uh, opposite the two boats is the Cuttle Inn. So to my right is the very busy A423. Don't ask me where it goes. Um, the Cuttle Inn is over here. I think it's a little bit posher than uh, a little bit posher than the two boats, but. Uh, we like the two boats and the pub right by the canal plenty of moorings here not just this side of the bridge uh, but behind me where we videoed some of the uh, episode 22 that's where I was moored initially Um, a very typical quaint little village so we're on the way back up the Stockton flight uh, that way takes us back to Braunston and just down there is uh, Long Itchington Hello, uh, we are on the Stockton flight, uh, heading north upwards to Braunston. Um, I thought I'd give, give you a bit of a view. Not bad, yeah. Uh, 
know, she's coming into Braunstein. She's coming into Braunstein and uh, the capture doesn't, camera doesn't quite capture that this is a bit of a downhill section. <laughs> the optical illusion is that it looks like we're going downhill. Um, it's bizarre. Braunston, Braunston Church in the background as we uh, enter the outskirts of Braunston. So here we are, a bit of a windy day uh, in rugby, <coughs> and uh, Dottie's going to eat some bread. That's for the ducks. That's for the ducks. Right. So, uh, <coughs> Dottie, to show everyone what happens when I when we get to this, what do we think of this, Dottie? You have to do this, otherwise she moans. If you don't do this, Dotty, um, you get a bit whiny, don't you, Dotty? There you go. Over there. And over there. And over there. So here is the motley crew of YouTubers. <laughs> Now, I didn't do any videoing on the day because I knew that a lot of the other guys would probably do it. And I thought, well, I'll either pinch some of their footage. But knowing that I wasn't going to get this edit out for quite some time, I've left it up to them. So here, look below in the description for links to their videos.